we're in uh, beautiful South Dakota, Rapid City. Believe it or not, tomorrow is our last day here. We are bringing back the bikes. If you guys haven't already realized, uh, Harley Davidson loaned me two motorcycles, one for myself and one for Glenn. They actually lent me this beautiful, brand new 2022 orange CVO 117. It is absolutely gorgeous bike. And they also lent Glenn a brand new 2022 Road Glide Special so we could uh, ride, put some miles on it. Obviously, I could do this video for you guys and let you know what I think about the bike. First things first, I actually really love this orange. I liked it since the day it came out. I love the color. I actually like the orange probably the best. I also do like the green flame uh, bike, including the red, but the green for some reason uh, with the flames, really, really nice, but this orange pops. And now that I've had the bike for uh, roughly three days, the orange has grown on me a lot. I've taken it to a lot of places. We put on about 600 miles on this bike in the past uh, couple days. A lot of people, a lot of people have come up to it and said that they love the bike and they obviously stop and staring and looking at the bike and for obvious reasons, it's just a absolutely gorgeous bike. So love the big 21 inch front spoke wheel. As you can see, they have the upgraded brake line right there with the silver caliper. I like that touch. They got the Kahuna collection on it. Exhaust sounds good stock. Stereo system, Rockford Fosgate, sounds really good. But the paint, hopefully you guys could see it. It is orange, but it's actually a metallic. There's metallic in the paint, makes it like really glow in the sun. Beautiful, comes with the heated grips already. Nice hand grips. What I really like about it is all the levers, the mirrors, the handlebars, everything is in chrome. You could just see the CVO really nice touches on all of the CVO bikes. Beautiful seat. You could take this pillion seat off and just leave it as a solo seat, but really nice. Looks like like Alcantara. Looks like suede, but it's like the Alcantara look and CVO badging. Beautiful, beautiful seat. I like how they did the 117 Derby cover. Really, really like the wheels. Everything chrome. You got the orange rocker covers on the motor. I mean, they really did a nice job with this paint. Love the paint scheme. Absolutely beautiful bike. The 21 inch front wheel just makes it really nice. So a couple things I wanna talk to you uh, guys about the bike. So obviously a smaller wheel makes the bike handle better. Everybody knows that. But what I realized is on my bike on Silverback, I do have the 19 inch wheel. But I realized with the 21 inch wheel, it handles just as good. These bikes obviously are not race bikes. You're not gonna be really tracking the bikes. So I didn't notice any, really any difference. The only place you're gonna notice a difference if you were to track it, and obviously these bikes aren't made for that or designed for that. I definitely did not notice any difference cornering nice sweepy turns um, here in uh, the Black Hills and all the rides that we went on. But I did notice as far as the bigger 21 inch wheel that it was able to handle small bumps uh, better because of the bigger wheel. Also, I don't know, it just might be me, but it felt like it was absorbing bad road conditions more maybe that's because of the spoked wheel maybe because it's it's able to kind of compress a little bit instead of a, a solid forged wheel the back wheel if you can see right there is spoked as well i really like the spoked wheels on this bike it's it's it just makes the bike look good what i like about it also is that the there's black inside and then this is chrome it's it's just a beautiful wheel in my opinion i think it fits the bike it matches the bike it looks it looks hot really really sweet bike so let me tell you guys so after riding this for a couple days i honestly wouldn't do anything to it except a couple small little changes and it's just for me because i'm six foot two inches tall only thing i would do and here they are i would change the seat i would put a saddleman seat because this seat 
for me, because I'm tall, it actually, I feel like I'm sitting a little bit too much forward. So I would put a Saddleman SDC Pro Gripper seat on. I'd probably get it in some nice orange stitching to match the paint. So this way I sit a little bit further back. And for me, I would get, honestly, I would get a beautiful like thrashing supply risers, chrome risers with a chrome uh, bar set up for comfort. I would do that. And uh, what else did I say I was going to do? And the last thing that I would do, believe it or not, on this bike, because it's a CVO, mind you. So you don't want to buy a CVO. That's just my opinion. You don't want to buy a CVO, you know, a bike that's $45,000, $46,000 and start stripping it down. That just doesn't make any sense. You're probably going to want to buy either a uh, standard or a special or an ST if you want to heavily modify the bike. But you don't buy a CVO, in my opinion to start stripping it down and to start changing parts um, because it is a CVO. No matter what, for resale value, you don't want to start doing that on a CVO. So, like I said, I would change the bars for comfort, change the seat for comfort, and the last thing I would do, get a set of highway pegs, and that would literally complete this bike. The bike rides super smooth. It has enough power. I wouldn't touch the motor, I wouldn't touch the exhaust, only because, like I said, if, if, if you're buying a CVO, I would just keep it as stock as possible. You're gonna get the longevity, you're gonna have the warranty, it has enough power, and if you're riding a lot of miles, you have to understand, if you're riding a lot of miles, you need comfort. Bottom line, you need comfort. You know, you don't want a super loud exhaust where it's, you know, a short pipe where it's ringing in your ears. You don't want an uncomfortable setup. You want some wind protection. Oh, yes. While we're talking about wind protection, there is a fourth thing that I would do to this bike, and that is put at least a 9-inch Clockworks Sport Flare windshield on this because this is really nothing. This is just, yeah, they, I guess they call it a windshield, but there is... I'm going to say zero wind protection on this bike. I was getting beamed in the head, no joke, right in the forehead, with uh, pretty large bugs. One hit me smack dab in the middle of the forehead, so I was going to knock me out. So, And then what happens, you got the bug juice all over your glasses and everything. So those are the four items I would do. Bars, seat, highway pegs, and a windshield for wind protection. And I, you literally me my opinion i wouldn't change anything else on the bike keep it the way it is it has everything else you could possibly want smooth engine definitely enough power more than enough that what you need to do passing cars or um you know keeping up with the pack it's not an issue it's got the 117 great amount of torque and it's just very it has minimal vibration because it's obviously stock once you start messing with the motor obviously and exhaust and this and that again i'm only saying this because it's a cvo if it was a different bike you guys know we love power we love performance but being that this is a cvo and it's it already has a, a fantastic paint job already has fantastic wheels and it has the 117 and you know it has the custom CVO paint I wouldn't touch it it's a absolutely gorgeous bike it's smooth you could put some major major miles on this bike and like I said we did the only thing that I really would have wanted is like I said the seat the bars the windshield and some highway pegs and this bike is phenomenal phenomenal and definitely you could throw down some major miles on this on this bike let me know what you guys think we're bringing it back right now and that's it we're gonna do a meet and greet at the Harley Davidson rig hope you guys like this video let me know in the comments what you guys think I'm actually pretty sad to uh, give it back really beautiful bike thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you soon